Good evening, one of the all-time great wrestlers, Kenny Monday, recently joined the Spire Institute and Academy family of coaches to lead the wrestling program. Monday's credentials and resume of accomplishments are off the charts. He is a four-time Oklahoma High School state champion, a 1984 national champion while at Oklahoma State, and he's a three-time Olympian, having won gold in 1988 and silver in 1992. A couple weeks ago at the Rage and Ragin's facility at the Old Center City Building near 26th and Peach, I caught up with Monday as he shared his thoughts on his new opportunity. You know, I started wrestling when I was five, six years old, and um, and just it's taking me all over the world. It's um, it's got me a college degree, and um, and being an Olympic gold medalist has really kind of given me a platform to to move all over the world and touch so many lives all over the world. What inspired you to now give back and be able to continue educating and teaching and coaching the young kids that want to pursue the goals that you had reached? I told the kids about a story uh, of meeting a guy that's actually from, from this area. Uh, Jimmy Carr was an Olympian in 1972. Uh, been from Oklahoma, I got to go down and watch the Oklahoma State uh, wrestling team. and the, the U.S. Open was in Stillwater mm -hmm. back in 1972, so I got to go and be around those 1972 Olympics, Dan Gable and Wayne Wells and Peterson and Chris Taylor and Jimmy Carr, which is from Erie, uh, was 16, year old, 16 years old and made the Olympic team. And I got his autograph as a, as a 10 year old. So that inspired me then and that's kind of what, what, I, uh, what I want to give back. What can you say about the sport in Northwestern Pennsylvania? Because there's been some national champions just even recently that have been able to get to the top of the podium. Many generations of wrestlers have come through Pennsylvania, and so it's always been, you know, just a, a, a really hotbed for wrestling. And so it's, um, I've always loved coming to Pennsylvania. They have, always have great fans. I remember wrestling back in, in 1989, 80, 90 at the uh, U.S. Open. Uh, and, uh, tournament we had where they had the number one and number two guys in the world wrestle and it was at Pittsburgh and had a great crowd and uh, so I've always enjoyed coming back to Pennsylvania to wrestle.